All right, dude, I'll show you how this works for the, the fuel map with the Holly setup. So right now I got it sitting at 1200 RPM on the simulator. Injectors are off, our VE table, our main fuel table is all zeroed out right where the map sensor is sitting at 100 kPa and 1200 RPM. So we start increasing that a little bit. The injector should start firing. Okay, so they're just barely triggered on now. And if we look at our pulse width, we're at 0.77 milliseconds and we're at 0.3 pounds an hour of fuel flow. As we increase this, it should start increasing. And they are a little louder. At 0.9 milliseconds, 6.4. That's just what I got in this fuel map here, this little generic fuel map. I'll show you what the graph looks like. Get a 3D view of it. It's all zeroed out in this range here during a normal operation as we come into boost and um, engine RPM increases and it comes up. And I just got some simple test injectors here on your harness, testing it all out. But um, so then we bring our RPMs back down to 1300 or so, and then we're, we're back off. Injectors are off. So that's our base fuel map. Um, works quite well. Uh, and you, again, you can put it on a 3D. Um, the learning table is what you'll, this will start populating. If you have the learn uh, enabled, it'll start populating. Um, the more you run it um, and then here's just a basic target air fuel ratio map that I got um, in there just real quick um, this is using a 425 kPa but we can scale that to whatever we need it to be um, and it's showing 11.5 is the target air fuel above 227 kPa um, 170 kPa is at 12 .0. Um, so same thing. This is just some just generic stuff I got in here real quick. Um, you can play around with your different different maps. I don't have the O2 plugged into it, so it shows unplugged right there in that AFR left. Um, but it shows what our target air fuel would be, 13L right there. And then it's an open loop right now because we're not in a closed loop. Um, but right there, you're... Your closed loop comp composition comp compensate um, right there is at zero percent, and that'll go up or down depending on if it's pulling or um, adding fuel based upon your target air fuel. So it'll be a pretty sweet setup. You just put this thing of what you want your air fuel ratio to be, make a rip, and see what um, how much it's it's compensating up or down and then you can adjust your main fuel VE table in those target areas of what you need um, to, to get closer to zero um, under closed loop at, at full throttle um, and like I said this learn table will will start populating with numbers basically uh, based upon how rich or lean off a target that you are and so you can um, quickly uh, hone in your, your fuel map pretty quick um, by using that learn table. And then once you get, um, we'll disconnect here. Once you get to a uh, point where it's, it's close, you can turn that learn off. Um, right now it's, it's disabled. And so you could enable it here and then give it some parameters if you wanted it to come on it. 1500 rpm or whatever um, you know you can make it where it turns on at 4000 um, and then you also have to have a certain amount of tps in it um, and then your gain up or down basically how much um, compensation it would use so that's the learn table it's kind of like your closed loop thing it just gives it the ability to learn and alter that um, that fuel map based upon how much it needs um, so this will be your closed loop uh, so it's enabled now and um, then you can, again you can set in an, an rpm that you want it to come on you could have a tps to enter it um, 
a, a TPS for it to go back into open loop. Um, you can have a minimum coolant temp, um, which we're not using coolant temp on, on this system. Uh, stuff like that. So it's it's pretty versatile. Same thing with this. The, the more that you run this compensation limits up and down uh, is how aggressive that closed loop is going to be. Um, so if you have it up high for roughing in the tune uh, quickly, um, it'll it'll be more aggressive on its changes. And then once you start getting closer, then you can start backing that down. Um, that's that's just kind of some basic rundown of what we're we're doing. Um, and that's uh, ECU configuration. It's an HP system. Here's your our basic um, engine setup. <clears throat> Eight cylinders, 376 cubes, speed density. Uh, we are using the NTK sensor. And okay, leave it on gasoline. Um, and then this is where you'd enter in the injector information. I'll get that set up for you too. I just got some basic stuff in there. Um, I got to alter the the um, off times for your injectors. Um, stuff like that. And then there'll be another uh, injection end table um, graph that once I get that cam card information then we'll enter in that and then that'll open up another table that um, for injection basically your injection timing stuff but that's uh, that's a little quick rundown but uh, this this fuel map is is pretty much what you're going to be altering um, you know is your main fueling um, for for what you're doing and I just wanted to show you it's, it's kind of cool that, that uh, once we go live with it Injectors start firing. They're just trickling on right there, and they really start coming alive. And if we were to just go in on this table here and really crank them up, and they're, they're really there. So we can go in there. We'll undo that. Brings us back down. Uh, so right clicking uh, when you have some cells highlighted. We'll bring up um, your fill row, fill columns, fill selected, offset would be if you wanted to, times it, plus it, divide, whatever. Um, you know, there's also hotkeys to, to make it work a little quickly, uh, a little more quickly, but um, you know, you can highlight it and so we shut them off there. Then we go to undo, bring some back. And if we wanted to add, so we'd right click, offset, plus five, we'll say. So then that just added five across the board to that. Really easy to use. Software works works awesome. Um, I think it's gonna be exactly what what your setup needs to. Take it to the next level. All right, buddy.